Hi, this is Ken from Origin Lab. In this video, we'll be going over how to manage different layers in a project using the Layer Contents dialog. Here we have some data on the strength of a magnetic field relative to ambient temperature. Selecting the whole of our worksheet, let's plot our three Y series as stacked graphs with a common X axis. Let's modify the layers on one of these graphs. To do so, go to the numbers in the top left corner of the graph window and double click on number 1 to open the Layer Contents window for that graph. First, let's remove our current layer and sort the long names of our plots descending to display plots for the change in temperature of all three trials. Let's add all three trials to our layer as a grouped set of data and click Apply. To edit another panel of our graph, we need not close the layer content window. Rather, go to the top right side of the dialog to the button displaying our current layer name and then click on it to switch to layer 3. In this case, we'll be selecting three magnetic field columns and placing them in this layer using the left facing arrow button to remove the one position layer in this same plot. Going back to the layer menu, we'll go to layer 2 and repeat these steps for the three series of position data and the one magnetic field plot, respectively. After we're finished adding and removing columns in these layers, click OK to close the layer content window. Because the data sets in these columns make use of different units, we'll need to use the rescale button to correctly display them. To adjust our legend to our layer changes, right-click on it and select Update Legend. In the dialog, change the Auto Legend Translation Mode to Custom, and then in the Custom Format menu, set the legend form to show the sheet display name. Let's remove the two extra legends and adjust the formatting of the one remaining. Here we see our finished multi-panel graph. This is just a brief demonstration of the many uses of the Layer Contents dialog.